Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get started on behalf of the Illinois Fire Service Institute, your statutory state fire academy, and Director Jim Keekin. I wish to welcome you to our 2022 Spring Academy commencement. My name is Steve Doggett. I'm a lieutenant with the Urbana Fire Department. I've been with Urbana for 15 years. At the Illinois Fire Service Institute, I'm the program manager, I'm sorry, the program director for uh, the academy. It's a privilege to invite our candidates to the stage to introduce themselves. Alpha Company, please report to the stage. Jerry Carmadale, Urbana Fire Department. Tara Steigers, Urbana Fire Department. Corey Mallox, Urbana Fire Department. Montgomery Rat, Decatur Fire Department. Nate Ludwig, Tri Township Fire Department. Charles Thorpe, Paris Fire Department. Bryce Parrish, Godfrey Fire Department. Michael Schwent, Belleville Fire Department. Paul Bruff, Belleville Fire Department. Timo Martin, Metropolis Fire Department. Gabrielle Rye, Metropolis Fire Department. Tyler McGeehee, Mount Vernon Fire Department. Andrew Benenall, Mount Vernon Fire Department. Michael Fell, Edwardsville Fire Department. Lindsey Blackwell, Edwardsville Fire Department. <laughs> Fire Department. Robert Hamilton, Maywood Fire Department. River Shaw, Rock Island Fire Department. Emily Rosher, Skagway, Alaska Fire Department. Weston Music, Danville Fire Department. Blaine Bennett, Danville Fire Department. Cody Cheeseman, Bloomington Fire Department. Kyle Walder, Bloomington Fire Department. Tyler Ruff, Bloomington Fire Department. Benjamin Velker, Charleston Fire Department. Paul May Jerry, Mammoth Fire Department. Chance Torsha, Lincoln Fire Department. Trevor Hughes, Sullivan Fire Department. Joe Langdon, Jacksonville Fire Department. Austin Mitch, Normal Fire Department. Garrett Kraft, Cornwall Fire Protection District. Joshua Derrick, Centralia Fire Department. Dylan Goldsmith, Taylorville Fire Department. Cole Smith, Monsell Fire Department. that we stress to our candidates on day one is the importance of the accountability. Our candidates began this academy at 6.30 in the morning and they were immediately as assigned an identifier. Through the seven weeks, they were required to always account everywhere they went, whether that was in a burn building, a new location, or when they returned from lunch. Academy class, count on. Alpha one. Alpha two. Alpha three. Alpha four. Alpha five. Alpha seven. Alpha eight. Alpha nine. Alpha ten. Alpha eleven. Alpha twelve. Alpha thirteen. Alpha three. Bravo one. Bravo two. Bravo three. Bravo four. Bravo five. Bravo nine. Bravo ten. Bravo eleven. Bravo twelve. Charlie 1, Charlie 2, Charlie 3, Charlie 4, Charlie 5, Charlie 6, Charlie 7, Charlie 8, Charlie 9, Charlie 10, Charlie 11, Charlie 12, Charlie 13, Charlie 14, Char
Charlie 6. Charlie 2. Charlie 8. Charlie 9. Charlie 11. Charlie 12. Charlie 23. Charlie 24. Delta 1. Delta 4, Delta 5, Delta 6, Delta 7, Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, Delta 11, Delta 12, Delta 13, Delta Company, present or accounted for. Sir, all companies, present or accounted for. Understand. Academy, have a seat. Our mission statement here at the Institute is helping firefighters do their work through training, education, information, and research. Today we're here to recognize and celebrate the achievements of these young men and women and to recognize their successful completion of this year's Spring Academy. In a word, one of the greatest attributes of being a firefighter is family. These recruits representing two states, 22 counties, 28 fire departments are about to enter into a unique profession unlike any other. I'm sure many of the people attending this ceremony that have ever worn a set of turnout gear would agree that firefighting is one of the most noble professions. I can think of no other career that measures up to being a firefighter. This new family that these academy, academy graduates will inherit today will be there for the rest of their lives. In years to come, they will recognize more and more how great it is to be a part of the firefighter family. Thank you and welcome to the commencement of the 100th Basic Firefighter Academy. To honor our nation, our friends, the other guys, from the University of Illinois Premier Men's Acapella Group will sing the National Anthem. Immediately following the National Anthem, they will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you are able, please join me in standing. The Academy class will present the colors. We will have the National Anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. Following the Pledge of Allegiance, Please remain standing for our invocation by Fire Department Chaplain Dave Ashby. All uniformed personnel, you'll be on the command of our Academy Honor Guard.
cover today, I would ask you to please remove it at this time. It's a privilege to be here today. I uh, never come to an opportunity like this that I'm not awed by the magnitude of the courage that these young men and women have in taking the profession they have taken. It's an honorable profession, and I'm honored to be in all of your presence today. And I told them downstairs, and I will tell you today, that not only am I going to pray for them today, but I'm going to pray for God's protection, care, guidance, and wisdom for them throughout their lives as they serve. Would you bow your heads with me, please, at this time? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I am so grateful for the privilege and the opportunity that uh, you allow me to have to be here today. I thank you for all of the uh, wives and parents and children of these uh, candidates that have come to celebrate this wonderful opportunity. I pray that you be with each young man and young woman that is graduating today. I pray that your hand would be upon them. Lord, uh, I pray that you'd be with them throughout their careers. Lord, there are going to come moments in time when they're going to have to make difficult decisions. And I just pray that you'd be with them. I pray you'd guide them. I pray that you would watch over them, be with their families, encourage them. And Father, once again, be with us today. Bless this ceremony and this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain Ashby. Everybody, please have a seat. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you Heather Moore, our Deputy Director of the Illinois Fire Service Institute. I would also like to introduce Jim Keegan, the Director of the Illinois Fire Service Institute, and invite him up to the podium for some opening remarks. Fire Service and this early spring 2022 commitment, commencement celebration that we're having today. Thank you all for being here and um, thanks for all the family, friends, and, and co-workers that have taken time out of their day to help us celebrate with, with all of these firefighters' success. Seven weeks ago, seven long weeks ago it seems, um, these 46 individuals here began a journey of learning, growth, and development that brought them all here today. All of these men and women have been physically and mentally challenged throughout those seven weeks. The shortest day for any of them was probably eight, nine hours, and the longest day was probably over 16 hours. You've heard Battalion Chief Doggett mention that he started every day at about 6.30 in the morning. And if you do that math, there were some nights that they didn't get out until 9, maybe even 10 o'clock. The youngest here is 19. The oldest is 40. They come from near and far. The closest is right here in Urbana. And the farthest, as you already heard, is from Alaska. Some had previous experience. Some are brand new firefighters, well, new to the fire service. They all had a common goal, and that was to get to this day, this minute, 
this time and successfully complete the IFSI Academy. Over the past seven weeks, they've learned most everything that they possibly could from a thing called the IFSTA Essentials Manual. Looks like this. There's nearly 1,500 pages of material that they have studied and mastered in the past seven weeks. Things like the history and the culture of the fire service. Things like building construction and fire behavior and fire dynamics. All the other stuff that you think, extinguishers and ladders and hose and appliances. But they've also learned things like overhaul and property conservation so they can protect property not only by putting the fire out, but as the, as the fire progresses, they can, they can save things for people. Things like ventilation, uh, things like community risk reduction, which isn't just about preventing fires and putting up smoke detectors, but learning how to make your community safer, all of our communities. Most importantly, they've learned what it means to be firefighters. They've learned about the job and the responsibilities they all have and they carry now. They began to understand the real challenge of being a firefighter is not just what we do, but the expectations we continually learn, grow, and adapt to the changing demands of the fire service and the needs of our community. They've learned to be smart firefighters because smart firefighters know how to do things. Smart firefighters know when and where to do things. Smart firefighters are always learning, growing, practicing, and reviewing what they already know. They're refining their skills and knowledge every single day of their career. They've learned what they need to do to be professionals. Now I know a lot of people think that being a professional is about being paid and I'm gonna tell you that's not true. Being a professional is not about money. Being a professional is about being an expert at your craft. I've known paid professionals and I've known volunteer professionals. Being professional is about having standards, standards of education, standards of training that prepare them to be members of a profession with special knowledge, skills, abilities, and understanding necessary to perform their specific role or job within that profession. It's about mastery of that craft or that trade. Professionals are subject to a code of conduct and rigorous ethical and moral obligations. They hold themselves to higher standards all the time to meet those requirements. I want to take a minute and recognize the IFSI staff that have trained all of these firefighters. If all of the battalion chiefs and the instructors in the, in the audience stand up for a minute, Chief Schubert, Chief Doggett. This is the team, this is part of the team, and you see the insert inside your, your uh, program of, of the instructors that are involved in training these people. This entire team has done a terrific job of investing in not only the planning and the execution, but the commitment to be the mentors and the educators and the instructors for all of these men and women for the past seven, seven weeks. It's, it's not an eight hour day, it's not a 12 hour day for these guys. It is, it is a day in and day out commitment and thank you for what you've done um, to develop these men and women into the firefighters you see on the stage today. Please sit down. My compliments to them all and to all of the IFSI training staff that have been involved in their development. I'd also be remiss if I didn't recognize all those people behind the scenes that made this academy and all of the IFSI classes that happen every day. Carol Anderson, Mel Hall, everyone in class support, the business office, the curriculum and the testing staff who made sure that we validated their learning and their expertise. Everyone who supports that, that IFSI stuff day to day behind the scenes. The library and research staff that help them with their uh, assignments 
and help them to, to, to be better firefighters and understand the current science behind firefighting. Jeff Latz and all of the shop team who fixed everything that we broke every day, and we broke stuff every single day, um, made sure that, that, that we had the equipment working. Um, Dave Bletcher, who, who runs our, our equipment and supplies, who made sure that they had all of the tools and equipment they needed every day. Jill Sauer, Jenny Bain, who did all of these great graphics. And Katrina Mann, who took all of these pictures. Um, Chief Walsh, who worked with Jill Sauer and did that most excellent adventure around the, the state a couple of weeks ago that some of you may have seen on Facebook where they went to every single off site and showed what that was. They also spent time with all of these academy students taking videos that you see on Facebook every single day. Special thanks to Melanie who put all these decorations out here and helped plan this event. Um, the flowers, the programs, um, the new blue helmets, um, all the people that work behind the scenes that make this stuff happen every single day. Congratulations to everyone and everything you do. You're part of creating a team of firefighters that IFSI, their fire department, and their communities are proud of. And more importantly, they can be counted on whenever they're called. They are ready to meet the challenge. They're ready to be firefighters. I would take any one of them on a crew that I would work with because I can count on them to know their job and to do their job. In spite of the time and energy that they've committed, I also know that each of these firefighters has not succeeded alone. It's only with the support of their members of their department and importantly, their family. All of the family I know has been part of this past seven weeks because they haven't been there. They've been studying, they've been practicing, they've been working, and they've been making the commitment too. The family has made that commitment to them being firefighters. The long days and nights they spent studying, the times that they were just too worn out to do anything. The challenge when they just didn't have time for anything else at home. I know the commitment the family made to support them, and I thank you all as family members and friends who understood and helped them to be successful to meet this challenge. To all the graduates, you need to remember this is just the beginning. That's why we call this a commencement and not a graduation. It's not the end. It's the beginning of your career. It's the start of your learning and development. Firefighting is a dangerous profession. We are never going to change that. Firefighters go into burning buildings. Firefighters work on interstate highways and environments that are dangerous. The only way that you can reduce the risk that the job has is to know your job, to master your job, and commit yourself to be that professional I know you can all be. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of seeing one of my recruits from a little over 20 years ago become chief of my old department. When I taught the academy, I told them that the impact that they will have on the fire service will be much greater than mine. My time is finite. Your chief's time are finite. It's short. Yours is all just beginning. Some of you may be in this career for 20 years. Some of you may be 30 years. Some of you may even longer. Your impact on the fire service will be greater than all of the people that you're going to work with. Make every single day count. You must commit yourself to the profession and lifelong learning. The academy is just the start of your commitment and development. As you move forward, take advantage of every training opportunity that's presented. You know, if you don't have a degree, go back to school and get a degree. Expand your knowledge and understanding of the vocation and commit yourself to it. <coughs> take IFSI classes. Take FDIC classes. Take classes that are at your local fire department. Take classes at your neighboring fire department. Continue to invest and develop yourself. Don't just focus on the here and now, but plan out for your career, your future. Be committed, be hungry, be the professionals and know your craft. As firefighters, we must always be ready and that can only occur if we know and master our craft and are prepared. 
you're always the solution to the problem. That's why people call us. There's no problem too big or too small for us to solve. I genuinely, genuinely believe you are the future of the fire service, not just in your community, but throughout the country. You're the next generation of fire officers, chief officers, researchers, instructors, IFSI staff, and fire service leaders. As you gain experience and knowledge, share that with those that come after you. As you develop yourself, work to help and mentor others. We've all had mentors that we could count on to keep us out of trouble throughout our career. Be those mentors. Also remember that you have to balance, have balance in your life. Don't neglect your commitments to your family. Don't forget what's important. Your career is a limited, finite thing. Even if your career is 30, 40, even 50 years, but your family is forever. Continue to invest in your family. Continue to invest in your wife, your spouse, your partner, your children. Firefighting is a dangerous endeavor, but it's incredibly satisfying. It's, in sa it's satisfying to know that, that there are times in your life as firefighters you will indeed make a difference in someone's life. You will have opportunities to even save people's life. Be smart firefighters, make good choices, and I am sure you will always make us, your department, and your communities proud. Thank you very much. The Office of the State Fire Marshal supports IFSI through funding, state certification, and many other avenues in training firefighters. Matt Perez is our State Fire Marshal. Unfortunately, he was unable to attend today, but he wants to send his best regards and congratulations to all of our candidates. Every academy, our class selects one representative to represent each individual that's out here today. I'd like to welcome the Spring 2022 class representative, Bravo 2, Dustin Becker, from the Granite City Fire Department to the podium. On behalf of all of us in the 2022 Spring Fire Academy, I would like to first welcome each and every one of you here for being here today. It's incredible to celebrate this incredible accomplishment. I would also like to start off with having a brief moment of silence to remember all of our loved ones, friends, and fellow firefighters that are no longer here with us to experience this special day. If you could join me in a quick moment of silence. Thank you. For most of us, today is one of the biggest achievements of our lives. On day one, we arrived here with our gear bags and stood outside in front of our name tags on the ground, waiting for further instructions on our next move looking to your left and to your right with no familiar faces around. Roughly 26 paid departments, 12 combination departments, and seven volunteer departments all stood around each other with no idea what we were in for. This class has a wide variety of diversity, both young and old, generational firefighters, firefighters with only two weeks on the job, firefighters with zero experience, captains, lieutenants, and a chief. The meaning of life is not to simply exist but to elevate yourself, to achieve, and to conquer. Today as a team, we bonded and learned to conquer almost anything that comes in our way. Together we've learned about each other's families, hobbies, and whys. Here at Academy, we are taught about duty, pride, and tradition, and most importantly, our why. Each and every one of us has a why as the driving force behind us to keep us pushing through the hardest days. For those of you that haven't heard the story behind our tennis balls, please let me explain. This is our tennis balls. When we got here, Chief Doggett issued all the students a blank tennis ball. We were told to write on them our whys. We must carry our tennis balls on our person 24 seven with absolutely zero ex exceptions. On the ball, most of us had loved ones, family, animals, and more day in and day out. When we wanted to quit, when we were at the complete brink of failure, we would pause for a quick second to think about our why, and you would be absolutely surprised how much strength this small little tennis ball would give you on your hardest days. 
This academy has taught us structure, discipline, and to push yourself farther than you ever knew you were capable. Every day we arrived at the crack of dawn for PT, followed by classroom curriculum, a full day's worth of burning, training, climbing, and crawling. A firefighter's full turnout gear weighs roughly 80 pounds and quickly fatigues the average human. The amount of time we have spent here in our gear has elevated us far beyond the average human. Donning and doffing our SCBA packs and gear hundreds of times, if not more, has forced us to be ready for any situation at any given time. This class particularly has had so many incredible training experiences for us all. Our instructors were able to acquire several apartment complexes for us to use with real life fire training in Danville. Multiple search teams, attack teams, and vent teams operated under real fire conditions. We learned how fire grows, spreads, and many other useful tricks to help us get the job done quick and efficiently. Instructors here at IFSI have changed our lives forever. These men and women have taught us more life lessons and skills than I can even begin to explain. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank each and every one of you for the time and devotion you gave us and forced us to elevate into some of the best. I'd like to end on this note. Brotherhood, from the outside looking in, you'll never understand it. From the inside looking out, you can never explain it. It's not about what stands in front of you, it's who stands beside you. There are two types of people in this world, the ones who call for help and the ones who are the help. Always be the one doing while the others are watching. Stay hungry for the job and you will never become full. To all my classmates and all the instructors, I wish you safe and successful careers. And remember guys, just think the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Thank you. Chief Keegan and recognize a couple people as well. Um, it's the same group, our instructors. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been approached saying, you've got a lot of work to do. You've got, you got a lot on your plate. It couldn't happen without the group behind me and the group to the left. Our instructors are an incredible staff. They jump in and they get the job done. So I personally want to say thank you to all of our instructors that make the, the candidates successful and make this academy successful. In addition, the, the office staff that's already been identified, I can't tell you how many times I bug each one of them that uh, have been identified back here uh, on travel, invitations, decorations, anything that needs done. So thank you very much for all that you do. Now a little bit more about the, the candidates. So as we spoke earlier, the past seven weeks have involved a tremendous amount of time and commitment. They start at 6 a.m., they do PT, they meet every morning to do a briefing before they start their education. They're pushed both physically and mentally. Their expectation is 100%, 100% of the time. They learn that they can achieve and accomplish what they can achieve and accomplish when they fully commit, and they learn exactly how they could overcome and how much they could overcome as part of a fire crew. In spite of all this, we always try to tell them to remember their families, remember their why. We heard the story about the, the tennis ball. That's extremely important to us. We've kept your candidates away for seven weeks, and we've trained them the best of our ability. But we have to remember that that sacrifice isn't always on them. That's on everybody out here as well. No one succeeds alone in this career. It's the support of the family, the friends, the mentors, the coworkers. They, that we can grow and achieve professionally and personally. At this time, it's my honor to begin the presentation of certificates. Alpha Company, please rise. Drake Royal, Urbana Fire Department. Thank you. 
Wynn Burroughs, Urbana Fire Department. Nathan Williams, Urbana Fire Department. Tyler Seid, Urbana Fire Department. Zachary Hinkson, Urbana Fire Department. Jerry Comerdell, Urbana Fire Department. Tara Steigers, Urbana Fire Department. Corey Maddox, Urbana Fire Department. Montgomery Rapp, Decatur Fire Department. Nathan Ludwig, Tri Township Fire Department. Charles Thorpe, Ferris Fire Department. Bryce Parrish, Godfrey Fire Department. Bravo Company, please rise. Don Horvath, Granite City Fire Department. Dustin Becker, Granite City Fire Department. Alex Crowshaw, Murfreesboro Fire Department. Michael Schwint, Belleville Fire Department. Paul Broth, Belleville Fire Department. Kimo Martin, Metropolis Fire Department. Gabby Ryan, Metropolis Fire Department. Tyler McGeehy, Mount Vernon Fire Department. Andrew Mendenhall, Mount Vernon Fire Department. Michael Thoe, Edwardsville Fire Department. Lindsey Blackwell, Edwards, Edwardsville Fire Department. Charlie Company, please rise. Trey Yoakum, Galesburg Fire Department. Robert Hamilton, Maywood Fire Department. River Shaw, Rock Island Fire Department. Emily Rauscher, 
Skagway, Alaska Fire Department. Weston Music, Danville Fire Department. Lane Bennett, Danville Fire Department. Cody Cheeseman, Bloomington Fire Department. Kyle Walder, Bloomington Fire Department. Tyler Neff, Bloomington Fire Department. Benjamin Velker, Charleston Fire Department. Paul Mangieri, Monmouth Fire Department. Delta Company, please rise. Logan Ratliff, Mattoon Fire Department. Richard Hersberger, Matching Fire Department. Mason Brawl, Matching Fire Department. James Hefley, Matching Fire Department. Chance Torsha. Lincoln Fire Department. Trevor Hughes, Sullivan Fire Department. Joseph Langdon, Jacksonville Fire Department. Austin Mensch. Normal Fire Department. Garrett Kraft, Corn Belt Fire Protection District. Joshua Derrick, Centralia Fire Department. Dylan Goldsmith, Taylorville Fire Department. Cole Smith, Monticello Fire Department. Just a brief second and let them finish up here and then we'll continue. While our companies are returning to our seats, I want to um, take a minute to introduce our Academy Battalion Chiefs. Uh, as we spoke a little bit earlier, these men provide countless hours of instruction, guidance to each candidate. They're the advocate for each company that we have out here. Their hard work and determination and passion is every single day. It's evident for me, and again, it's 
um, an incredible asset for us to have. So I'd like to introduce Mark Mayfield, captain with the Edwardsville Fire Department, Ed Carone, retired captain from the Chicago Fire Department, Tom Shu, a lieutenant with the De Decatur Fire Department, and Steve Tullis, lieutenant with the Hinsdale Fire Department. Our fifth battalion chief is DJ DeJournay. He's a captain with the Belleville Fire Department and he was unable to attend today. Academy, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving this incredible group a round of applause. presentation of certificates. I'm sorry, excuse me, the presentation of awards. The physical fitness award presentation. Firefighting is an extremely strenuous physical work and is probably one of the most physically demanding activities that the human body performs. Thus, the mission of the physical training program in the academy is threefold. First, to safely train candidates so they are able to overcome physical challenges and graduate the academy. Secondly, to prepare candidates to meet the physical demands of their future assignments. Thirdly, to instill the importance of maintaining a high level of personal fitness throughout their fire service careers. The academy evaluated the candidates' initial and ending physical fitness level. A firefighter's level of physical fitness does have a direct impact on their emergency response. So this student will receive a plaque in recognition of their accomplishment, along with a gift certificate sponsored by NICOR Gas in the amount of $250 to be used to uh, further training at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. The following student demonstrated a high level of fitness and is now recognized as a top performer in their class. Completing the most push-ups ever, 61 sit-ups in a minute, and with a 9.18 mile and a half run time, will Charlie One, Trey Yoakum from the Galesburg Fire Department come forward and accept your award. Howard Doc Eskridge Award. This award is presented to the IFSI Academy graduate with the highest overall grade point average during Academy and named after Howard Doc Eskridge. Howard Doc Eskridge served the Illinois Fire Service Institute for over 30 years. He led the Certified Firefighter Academy for many years, starting with the first Academy in 1973. The first 200-hour class designed to certify, recruit, candidate firefighters according to statewide standards established by the Illinois Office of the State Fire Marshal. Trained 17 paid firefighters who all had less than three years of fire service experience. Doc was committed to excellence in teaching and academics. The criteria for this award is based on the following grades. Quizzes, workbook assignments, midterm exam, and the final exam. The recipient of the award will receive a plaque in recognition of his accomplishment, along with a gift certificate sponsored by Motorola Solutions Foundation in the amount of $250 to be used to further his training at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. This cadet had an overall average score of 96.61%. Will Delta 12, Dylan Goldsmith from the Taylorville Fire Department, please come forward and accept your award. The 
Ray Hoff Most Improved Firefighter Award. The Ray Hoff Most Improved Firefighter Award is named after Chief Ray Hoff. Ray Hoff started in the fire service in 1965 when he became a third generation firefighter with the Chicago Fire Department. During his career, Ray Hoff served with some of the busiest truck companies in Chicago and retired from the Chicago Fire Department at the rank of battalion chief in 1997. Hoff joined the Illinois Fire Service Institute family in 1992 as a field staff instructor. Hoff used his experiences such as the Paxton Hotel Fire to develop invaluable IFSI lectures on topics ranging from search and rescue to fire dynamics. He always encouraged each and every student to improve themselves and become better firefighters. This award is presented to the IFSI Academy graduate who demonstrates the biggest overall improvement as an Academy student. The criteria for this award is as follows. Academic performance including workbook, quizzes, and midterm grades looking at improving trend lines. Consistent improvement on performance evaluation attempts. PT test beginning and end rank improvement. Drill ground performance evaluations conducted daily by the instructors and battalion chiefs. Progress reports submitted by instructors taking into account improving trend lines. A student's commitment to overall self-improvement. The winner is selected based on nominations by the Academy Battalion Chiefs and the Associate Director for Firefighting Programs. The recipient of this award will receive a plaque in recognition of this accomplishment, along with a gift certificate sponsored by Comfort Suites in the amount of $250 to be used to further their training at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. Will Cadet Bravo 13, Lindsey Blackwell from the Edwardsville Fire Department, please come forward and accept your award. Fireman'ship Award is named after Jark, Jack J. R. Rutledge and David D. C. Clark. These men dedicated many years of their lives to teaching firefighters and were always committed to the highest standards in teaching with a high degree of emphasis on hand-on performance. Receiving the Clark Rutledge Award means that a student has demonstrated a mastery of the basic firefighting skills on par with or above the performance level of his or her peers. Their criteria for this award is as follows. A consistent number of positive progress reports received over the duration of the ceremony. Positive weekly evaluations from the Academy Battalion Chiefs and evaluations include positive attitude, firefighting skills, technical skills, social skills, ethics, ethics of behavior, leadership skills, unselfishness, dependability, physical performance, enthusiasm, initiative, peer evaluations, number of performance evaluations, pass on the first attempt. If a student receives this award, it signifies that the academy instructors, battalion chiefs, peers, and the associate director of firefighting programs feel that he or she possesses the leadership traits necessary to be highly successful in the fire service. The winner's name will be placed on the plaque in the hallway of the fire station. They will also receive a plaque in recognition of this accomplishment, a leadership book chosen by the director, along with a gift certificate sponsored by the Illinois Fire Service Institute in the amount of $500 to be used to further his or her training at the Illinois Fire Service Institute. Will Cadet, Delta One, Logan Ratliff, Mattoon Fire Department, please come forward and accept your award.
almost there. It's situated here. I'd like to say thank you briefly to everyone that attended today. As we said many times, family is incredibly important. To close out the Spring 2022 Academy Commencement, I would like to buy, invite our Associate Director of Firefighting, Tom Schubert, to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. Some of the things you're gonna hear me talk about is some of the things that's already been talked about. So bear with me because I'm gonna say them anyway. Good afternoon, my name's Tom Schubert. I'm a retired fire chief from the Canton Fire Department with over 30 years of proud and dedicated service. I currently hold the title of Associate Director for Firefighting Programs with the Illinois Fire Service Institute. Before we talk about the graduates, I would like to thank those that make this all possible. And I know we've already talked about it. This is very important. Our instructors. Our instructors and staff. The instructors for the academy are hand-picked. These individuals are the best in the country. They have a full understanding of the expectations and are truly dedicated to turn out only the best academy students back to their departments and communities. Thank you, instructors. You're greatly appreciated. But the team is bigger than just the instructors. The office and support staff here at IFSI are working to make all of this happen behind the scenes. Without their work, this would not be successful. Thank you to all of you. We greatly appreciate what you do. The Illinois State Fire Marshal's Office, who works hand in hand with the Illinois Fire Service Institute to provide the best training possible to the firefighters in the state of Illinois. And to all of you out there, that supports your candidates for the last seven weeks. They wouldn't be able to do it without your support. Now for the candidates. Candidates, this is your day. For the past seven weeks, these 46 candidates have endured an intense training schedule starting at 6, 6 a.m. with the Academy PT, then house chores, then equipment checks, right into your training for the day, along with homework assignments every night, with very long days. They have put in countless number of hours along with our instructors to build that solid foundation of firefighting skills. They have learned and understood the importance of accountability for those they work with and themselves. They have learned and demonstrated basic skills and knowledge to perform on the fire grounds and emergency scenes. They understand the importance of details in everything that they do. They understand that in this line of work, there are no breaks, no timeouts, and no redos. That's why this training is so important. And they also understand that there's no tricks to this trade. You just have to learn the trade. To all 46 new firefighting candidates, congratulations. You've earned it. Welcome to the fire service. I'm very proud of all of you. You will now return to your families, your communities, your fire departments, where you will serve and protect. Remember these things. Every day, learn something. Every day, practice a skill. Every day, make yourself better. Make your department better. Make your communities better. And don't ever forget, stay disciplined and pay attention to the details. Nothing will ever replace hard and dedicated work in this business. Thank you all for your hard and dedicated work to get to this point. Congratulations to all of you. We're so very proud of each and every one of you. Thank you all for coming and supporting your candidates. It's greatly appreciated. To close this out, 
There was refreshments to the back of the room and also some drinks. Um, and you will also be able to come to the Illinois Fire Service Institute to view the training grounds and facilities, um, which will be open for your viewing. There will be maps at the back of the room. It's 11 Gertie Drive. Um, if you're not sure how to get there, ask somebody, ask one of the instructors, ask your cadet. They will get you there. Before we close out, award winners, please stay up here at the uh, platform um, so we can get pictures. All other folks that would like to get pictures with their candidates, please go to the back southeast part of the room, which is over there, to get your pictures taken. Before we close this out, companies, one last time, sound off. Dismissed.